In this video, I'll show you how to set up variable subscriptions on your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, I'll show you how to set up a variable product similar to this. So here we're offering online classes, right? And here our customers can choose how many sessions they want per month. In your case, this could be the delivery frequency, right? So here we could say delivery. And then here we could say maybe and then here, maybe we could say um, one month, six months or one year or so on, right? So the beauty of using variable subscriptions is that in the customer's account they'll be able to switch between different variations right so let's say for example if they said they wanted the delivery frequency to be one month then later on if they see that they're not using it as much as they could then maybe they can change it to every three months for example right so that's the beauty of using this method as a bonus tip as well i'll show you how you can go ahead and add a similar setup to this using the same aov up subscriptions plugin this is a different approach it's where we're offering a one-time purchase and then here they can click subscribe and we can change this text to whatever we want as well and then we can even add a drop down so i'll show you similar to this when they click subscribe right we can even add a drop down where we can say delivery so they can choose the frequency and manage it that way right so then we've got the billing and then the shipping frequency is decoupled right okay so before we actually create our variable subscriptions i just want to go ahead and tweak a few settings first so I'm going to head over to AOV up and then subscriptions. Okay. And then straight away here, we want to go ahead and allow users to switch between variable subscriptions, right? We can choose whether we want to prorate the recurring payment method. I'm just going to leave mine to never you can choose to prorate it, meaning if they're halfway through the month and the billing's done um, at the first of every month, we can calculate the daily payment and then essentially just charge them. Um, so let's say, for example, if they're midway through their subscription and they grade to a higher plan, then all we'll do is let's say the higher plan was a hundred dollars a month, right? And they're halfway through the billing cycle. If they upgrade, instead of charging them that hundred dollars, we'll just charge them fifty dollars. And then on the next renewal, we'll charge them the full amount of a hundred dollars, right? So how you handle this is totally up to you. I'm just gonna set it to never, meaning if they choose to upgrade, they're just gonna pay that fee up front, right? The sign up fee, here we can choose not to prorate it, right? Or we can charge the full sign up fee or we can always prorate it, right? Um, for the switch button text, we can say something like upgrade or downgrade. I'm just gonna hit save changes here. Now let's create our variable subscription product. So let's head over to products and add new. So let's say we're selling a subscription box, right? Which is monthly socks. So we'll just say socks. And then we'll scroll down and then here where it says product data, we just want to go ahead and choose a variable subscription. Let's navigate over to attributes, right? We'll add our attribute here. So for example, we could say how you set this up is totally up to you. So for example, here, since it's a monthly socks club, but we can allow them to choose the colors, for example, right? So we could probably say something like color and we could say red, add a separator and then probably yellow, right? So we can go with that approach, but I'm going to take a different approach. I'm going to use this as our delivery option. This isn't the best approach, but I'll show you a better approach in a second, right? So we'll say delivery and then we can say one month, right? And then we could say three months and then maybe um, six months, right? Okay, we'll enable this option where it says use uh, use for variations. Let's hit save. Okay, and that's saved fine. So we'll head over to variations now. And then we'll just click generate variations and then OK. All right. So for one month, let's click on this. We're going to add our subscription price here. So let's say it's $15 for one month. Right. And then this is bill every month. OK. Everything else looks fine. So we won't cancel the subscription after a specific time period. We'll allow the customer to cancel it when they want to. Right. And we won't add any sign up fee for the stock management. This is up to you how you want to control this. We can set it to in stock or if we click on this option here to manage stock, we can go ahead and choose the quantity, right? Um, so again, that's totally up to you. This example is for a physical product. However, if you wanted it to be a virtual product, we can just enable this option here. And then if we wanted, so with this enabled, we won't require the shipping option from our customers, right? And there won't be any shipping details like that on the checkout page. We can also make it a downloadable product as well. So we can click this option and then we can add our downloadables here. So I'm just gonna untick these. 
Okay, and that is our price for our monthly subscription. And this is for our three months. So for three months, the price will be really it should be $45. But okay, so here for the pricing, we'll say um, $45. Maybe we want to build them every three months, right? Okay, so the only issue with this approach using it as a delivery method is the customer will be billed. So this is the appropriate price. They'll be billed every three months, which is fine. The only issue is that in the back end every month. So leading up to that three month point, we won't see that order being generated every month, right? So we won't necessarily know when to ship this order, right? I'll show you a different approach in a second, but this is the limitation. But let's stick with this example for now. Let's go with a six month period and let's say this is $90, right? And then we're going to build them every six months. Okay, let's hit save changes and let's go ahead and publish this and let's view product, All right? And then here, they can choose their delivery options, right? So we can say one month, right? And the price is changing accordingly. And then we can subscribe and then just go through the checkout process. So I don't want to actually. OK, so let's attempt to check out. It should fail and which is fine. OK, so that's fine. Now let's head over to my account. Let's go orders. Sorry, let's go subscription. OK, and let's view the subscription. OK, so this is one approach. Let's go ahead and see how we can add a auto ship option to a standard product so they can pay a one time fee or they can hit subscribe and save. And then we should be able to control the shipping frequency as well. So let's head back over to our dashboard. Let's create a new product, right? This time I'm going to say new socks just so we know which product it is. And we're going to leave this as a simple product. We're going to put the price here. So this is $15 a month. This is $15 for the box, right? I'm going to add a new category. I'm going to say socks and this. Okay. And now let's hit publish. All right. When we view the product, it since it's just a regular product, nothing will change, but we'll, it'll make sense in a second. OK, so this is how it looks currently. So now let's head back over to our dashboard. Let's navigate over to AOV up subscriptions Then we'll navigate over to plans. OK, and then we'll create a new plan. We'll give this a name. So we'll say or sucks. This is just for internal purposes. So for the subscribe and save text, we'll just say auto ship and then we'll say purchase options. OK, and then for the frequency here, we'll say delivery. Right. And then we'll add a new plan. OK, and this is shipped monthly. And then for the display name, we'll say monthly. Well, we can give a discount, right, to encourage um, customers to actually go with this option. But let's ignore the discount for now. Let's add another plan. And in here, we'll say the interval is every three months. And in here, we'll say three months, right? OK, we can choose which category we want this to apply to. So we'll apply it to our stocks category. So in the future as well, we'll have the option to specify this to a specific product. But let's just hit save changes. All right. And now let's refresh this page. OK, and now our customers can purchase this on a one time basis. Right. Or they can subscribe. And here they can choose the delivery preference. So here they can have it delivered monthly or three months and then go ahead and subscribe. Right. 